90% of viewer chatters use free or public avatars. But for that special 10%, they want to be different, feel special. And so what do they do? They look online for Unity tutorials and scour marketplaces to find assets to slap together. Booth or Gumroad? the two most popular avatar asset marketplaces. If you've played VRChat and went searching for avatar assets, chances are you've come across them. The main difference though between the two is that Booth has mostly Japanese assets and Gumroad has American assets. This really feels like a war between Japanese hikikomoris and American degenerates. Let's see what the people have to say. Hot topic of the day. Gumroad or Booth? I feel like Gumroad has a larger variety of things, but Booth okay. has a consistently higher quality of things. Like, if you need to find something like super obscure, you go to Gumroad. If you need to find something that's put together really fucking well, you go to Booth. Gumroad or Booth? Jinxy. Listen, ma'am, mm -hmm. that is a very mm -hmm. good answer. Mm -hmm. Booth is hard to navigate uh, for people because it's Japanese, so a lot of people get intimidated, and Gumroad is uh, not that it's a bad thing, but mostly caters to furries. All so I heard is that she's racist and doesn't record. understand Japanese. We I are know, a multicultural not, channel. Booth or Gumroad? Everyone seems to recommend Booth. Booth or Gumroad? You gotta pick. What are the other? Booth or Gumroad? Yeah. I was originally Gumroad, but now I prefer Booth. I like how some easy it is to be able to customize, I think. Booth? <laughs> Or Gumroad. Gumroad. Gumroad is going to be the choice for that one. Gumroad has a long history within the community and a lot of great advantages. And I think it's almost par for the course to being that first starting site you utilize to uh, purchase your first avatar, I think, for a lot of people. Can I pet him? Yes, you can pet him. I, I have fizz bones. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait, let me let me explore your fist bone. Oh, uh, hold on. Whoa, oh, chill out, bro. It's VR chat, man, but it's fucking not like that. Booth or Gumroad? Booth. Uh, my avatars have come from Booth. I had the avatar I was looking for. I like the style more. You, you like the style? Like, what my is that style? I, usually more anime. More of a, yeah, usually more anime. And that's, that's it. I think Gumroad is really good for Actually, assets. I think it's less good for Avatar. Also, make sure Every nobody instance. convinces him to go to Shangri-La. What the fuck is that? Yeah. Why are you guys speaking magic Minecraft yeah. enchanting language, bro? <laughs> Why do you think so many Avatars are too sexy in this game? People are horny. Don't you think that Gumroad Avatars are more horny than Booth Avatars? Oh, I can totally agree. If we want to just ignore the few select mass uh, mass purchased items that are on booth that we're just going to ignore, um, everything else is more on that mature or wholesome side of things. Damn, this guy's good with his answers. No <laughs> wonder why he's the event lead for a company for a name that I will not disclose. I'm not sponsored, so I'm not putting the name in. So screw not you yet. guys. Not yet. Not, not yet. yet. Oh, not yet. okay, maybe, okay. Maybe, 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 maybe. Have you seen a lot of sus avatars? Oh, 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 for sure. I've seen a whole Damn. Okay. Do you think that there is a problem in VR chat of having too many sus avatars? Honestly, if it's all in good fun, then no, I don't I don't take offense to it, but as long as there's like an option to disable it, then everything is all good, you feel? I feel that, I feel that, I feel that. Okay. <laughs> Why do you think so many avatars in VR chat are too sexy? People are horny and lonely. People are horny. <laughs> Does that include you guys too? No. Yes. Which one is it? I can be the middle ground sometimes. Why do you think so many avatars in VR chat are too sexy? Because cells in uh, VR chat is a place for degenerates to have sex with other people. You can't get it IRL. She really called it out as it is. She really did. I've been in the great pug. I came in here in a public instance and two people were upstairs in the roost having VR sex and they were naked in full body. And there was like 20 of us watching them and it was really weird. I got pictures, I got a selfie with them. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want more normal looking VR chat avatars? Normal looking? God, no. I want more avatars that look like my paintings. I want some dark fantasy bullshit. I want some like elegant, beautiful, dark sorceress queen that is not judged by the size of her cleavage. I don't want sex appeal. I want like Galadriel sh That's the kind of sh that I want. You hating on me, bro? No, no. 
Lisa from Genshin Impact. Wood? I'm sorry, I don't play Genshin. I play there we have it, folks. <laughs> gotta explain. Do you explain want to know it. a fun fact most Genshin Impact players don't know? The age of consent is 18 years old. <laughs> I'm glad I don't really play Genshin <laughs> Impact. What made you want to actually pay for assets or buy avatars? Oh, I think that uh, supporting the creator, right? At the end of the day, I think that that's the one thing that everybody needs to kind of understand that this platform, as far as VR chat as a whole, is a user-based submitted content platform, right? So we got to support the, the little guy who's coming in and making this really cool stuff to be uh, used by everybody and make sure that they feel supported. What's the weirdest avatar you have? Oh, uh, you want me to change into it? I mean, if you, if you don't mind. <laughs> 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 um, you can grab the mouth. The, the f oh, oh, it's a fucking hood. Okay, hold on. You can do it on both. You can if you pose it. So you got your. <laughs> this guy's gonna just keep doing backflips. Is it weird to know that people can spend hundreds of dollars on custom avatars in VR chat? Since it is, because I got this for free. Yeah. So with the new VR chat update and developer update, where they're promising people rags to riches by selling models and the economy uh -huh. and the creator economy, <laughs> do you actually believe in it? No. <laughs> Damn, no. but you you sell avatars. How come you don't believe in it? Because it's I, I, I wouldn't trust putting my work through VR chat. They can't even stop people from ripping. So how are they going <laughs> to guarantee that their marketplace itself would be safe and secure for creators? And not to mention, I know that they're probably going to slap a hell of a ton of fees on us because they already charge us money for uh, VR Chat Plus. Like if you want to save more than 50 avatars, you have to pay them. So I don't trust it. I think it's a money grab. So I think this has been a hot topic for a lot of creators in the community. There's a lot of concerns, a lot of doubts on what that might look like. I think a little bit of uh, people are concerned about some of the Neos VR and some other platforms that have had their hiccups in ingraded uh, or embedded content communities. But I think I think overall, I think VRChat is gonna do right by the creators and work with the creators and making sure that that process is as easy as possible. Or so he thinks. Dun, dun, dun. Here's kind of a here's kind of a weird one though. Have you guys ever ripped avatars or downloaded them from like a ripper or yes. whatever? No. No. Yes. But I've never done it. Why did you decide to rip avatars? Because there's gonna be this whole argument, but I just want to get your take first. Because I was jealous. What what do you mean jealous? I wanted the avatars. But you couldn't buy them? Or it wasn't existing anymore? Or no, I'm poor. Do you have full body, or do you have half? Move them oh. legs. <laughs> move them legs. He's got. He's no, got. He's got. Them. He's got full body, right? No, 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 Man can drop two thousand dollars for full body tracking, but he can't spend sixty fucking dollars on an avatar. Uh, Holy what are you shit, about? man! Look, look. look at this guy. That's why he's poor. Wait, That's why, why he's, he's poor. poor. Would you keep playing VR chat? Okay, why not? Am I right? Backflip for the bull. No, I wanna know. There you go. Welcome to VR chat. Please. My pixels are in need of a hug. Please. This is definitely a VR chat moment. This listen, I just wanna let everyone watching know that the age of consent is 18 and you know you should not engage in weird activities with children.